Well, it, economically, it's, it hurt. And uh, luckily, we did receive some federal money, uh, relief money. Uh, put it this way, if we wouldn't have received that last year, we wouldn't have balanced our budget last year. And the council from last year, we were even contemplating uh, layoffs until we received the money because we weren't getting the, the sales tax that we usually get from residents from Nogales, Sonora. You know, we, we get usually about, I want to say about 65 to 70 percent of our uh, revenue sales tax comes from residents from Nogales, Sonora. Despite those challenges, the city of Nogales approved an $82 million budget for the new fiscal year. It avoided layoffs and even managed slight pay raises for its 300 employees. Garino says that was possible because the federal government pumped more than $7 million into this town of about 22000 Online sales tax also helped, likely due to residents shopping from home. But it's temporary, and Garino says he'd rather rely on shopping habits this border town has known for decades. And he's worried about new trends emerging as port restrictions continue. Our residents from here, they're going into Nogales, Sonora. And the lines right now on Friday and Saturday is about a mile and a half long to go into Nogales, Sonora, because they're going from here to there. So Nogales, Sonora is doing very well economically because we are shopping over there more than they are shopping here. People are really getting used to and accustomed shopping in Nogales, Sonora, instead of coming over here. So when it does open, I'm wondering, will we get that influx of people coming back into Nogales and, and, and the Tucson area because they do come to shop in both cities. Let's see what happens at the time, but it's, it's, it's a little concerning. As I understand it, you lost something like 180 residents to COVID. Yes. Another 8,000 contracted the virus. Yes, yes. And, and right now, um, we have about 87% vaccinated, which is very good. Uh, but we still have people that are, haven't vaccinated. Matter of fact, we have employees in the city that don't want to get vaccinated. So you know, there's, it's concerning, especially with a new variant. What can you do at the local level as the mayor to say this is not sustainable anymore? Well, the only thing we can do is, is just make sure that we do buy locally and with the money that we do receive, especially in the downtown area. We had a council meeting last week and I presented to the members of the council that we need to start using some of the funding we receive to assist some of the businesses. Let's open it up to have businesses that will attract our local residents to go in that, to the historic area to shop. So a lot of the stores downtown, they were closed, almost all of them, maybe one or two remained open. They, they closed them all up. And now you go downtown, two months ago, the stores had merchandise inside. Now you go, there's no merchandise. That tells me that they're gone. They're gone, they're not coming back. So, so now we're gonna have to reinvent ourselves and say, okay, what can we do to make sure that those stores are opened uh, with maybe different, different uh, uh, ideas of what they can sell in those buildings that will attract people from Nogales, Arizona not only from people from Nogales, Sonora, to go downtown. Garino has written to the White House and extended invitations for a visit. And in the last month, he's met with Governor Ducey and Senator Kelly. But the promise of help hasn't come fast enough. Immediately south of this town, there are nearly half a million people, a neighbor Nogales wants to lean on as it regains its identity. Priority is not there. That's, that's what I think with the federal government. They're not prioritizing the economics of a border region. Were you disappointed? I mean, first it was the Trump administration, now it's Biden, and there's really no change. Yeah, no change. Not change at all. From the Biden administration, from the uh, Trump administration, we received the first funds that kept us afloat, and we balanced the budget last year. Now with this one, we're balancing the budget. Let's not balance, uh, balance our city budgets with handouts from the government. Let's balance our city budgets with sales, with, with cross-border trade, with opportunities. That's the way we live along the border. Other people don't understand that. You know, other communities don't understand. That we need to have that cross-trade. You know, uh, no more handouts. Let's, let's open up the border and let's get the people shopping. And, and, and then we ourselves here in Nogales will create that economy.